Hello everybody, welcome back to Tax Support Channel. Today, in this video, I am going to show about a service of OCI which is called Object Storage. How do we create object storage and upload objects into object storage? But before we start, I will request everybody to subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet and click on a bell icon to get regular notifications directly in your inbox. So let's begin. So the objective of this video is to show you how do we create public and private object storage buckets. So uh, we can create buckets. A bucket is nothing. It's like uh, a storage where you can upload any kind of documents that you would like to. It can be a log files, it can be your document, it can be your videos, any raw data that you would like to you upload, you can use object storage. To assist you on how to access objects from object storage and how do we create pre-authenticated request called pair file to access object from private buckets. So like OCI allows us to create public and private buckets. So if you have private bucket, you cannot access directly. So to access the uh, uh, objects under the private bucket, you have to create a pre-authenticated request, which will be valid for a time period. And you can access any object from that object storage. Let's begin and see how do we create object storage bucket in OCI. Again, so to create object storage bucket, you must have access of one of the compartments and you should be able to manage that compartment. So from the top menu, click on the storage section and click on the buckets under object storage and archive storage buckets. Click on a buckets. When you click on a bucket here, you have to choose the compartment in which you would like to create buckets and you have a button called create bucket. So when you click on a uh, create bucket button, you can give a name. It can be your meaningful name, bucket. And then you have to choose the tier, standard or archive. Standard is little costly. Archive is little cheaper. The difference between standard and archive is standard. When you create a standard bucket and you upload, the retrieval will be faster. That's the reason it is little high price but archive archive is basically for the content which you rarely access and of course the retrieval rate will be less and of course it is cheaper archive is basically used when you would like to maintain some logs file for an archival purpose for a longer period and again you need that uh, uh, for a uh, and of course you you would like to retrieve it rarely that's where you use archive but let's use standard and then we have other options called auto tiering object versioning emit object events and uncommitted multi-part uploads cleanup that's fine we will see this later encryption encryption using oracle managed keys or you can bring your own keys as well to manage your object so click on a create button when you click on a create button your object storage bucket will be created and the default storage tier is standard and by default the visibility of this bucket is private select this and here you can see you can edit visibility by default it will be a private but if you would like to make it public you click on edit visibility and click on a public so public bucket will allow you to access all the objects publicly without any authentication but when you choose private which is default so you you are not allowed to access those objects directly under that bucket you have to create some kind of pair file pre-authenticated request which is limited for a limited period to access those objects so let it be public for now we can change this later and save changes and it also gives a suggestion consider using pre-authenticated request instead public but let's save save changes Okay. And here you can see, yes, this is the visibility public. And now we need to upload a button which allows me to upload the different kind of objects. So let me select file here. Let me have this guy. And then you can give a prefix name, let's say uh, demo. And then upload or let's say test files. All right, and upload. So what will happen? The prefix will be appended with the file name. Close. 
you can see test file internal. You can do one more thing. Let's say test slash upload and close or not like this. So you can do like this, I guess. You like to create another separate folder you can do test this so what it will do it will also create a folder test and all the object will be uploaded there close here you see test folder has been created and the document is inside it okay that's fine if you would like to delete any one of the objects click here and then delete now how do i access that particular object. So you click here and you click on a view object details and will give you a particular link, the unique link, which you can come here and then put and it will show you the file. All right, you are able to access because my public, my bucket is public. Let's convert the visibility to private. All right, now, Let's try to access it now. Now let me try to put, you see, either the bucket name demo bucket does not exist in the namespace or you are not authorized to access. So how do we access those objects inside the private bucket? So there the concept is called pair, create, pre-authenticated request. So you can see, you can create a pre-authenticated request. Pre-authenticated request will give you a unique URL, which can be used to download a particular object or all the objects under a bucket or all the objects with prefix, let's say test. All right. But let's say for a particular object, I'm creating this, the object name and the expiration you can mention. So by default, it is, it is the five days from the, or it's like six to seven days. Okay. If you would like to change it, let's say I would like to make this only for 12. Okay. So after 12, your request, the, the unique, uh, uh, unique URL will be expired. So let's say create pre authenticated request and it will give you a URL and this URL will be expired by 12th. Okay. And make sure you copy it and Keep it somewhere because once this dialog box is closed, you can never recover this URL. Copy this and then close. Now, let me access it now. Here you can see, but this URL is valid only for one day. So this is how you can create object storage bucket. You can upload objects. You can convert your private to public and public to private, and you can create your uh, pair request. I hope you find this video useful. If you yes, please like, comment, and share. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on a bell icon to get such an amazing content directly in your inbox. You can follow me over LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.